Rich and Janet, here in the city of Rochester, we have had 23 homicides this year, and of those 23, police say only eight of those cases have been solved and closed. And investigators say that's because witnesses are living in fear. They believe if they come forward, their lives will be at risk. April 9, 22-year-old Lawrence Richardson shot and killed on Dayton Street. No arrests. June 8, 20-year-old Miguel de Jesus shot and killed on Wilkins Street. No suspects. And finally, June 17, 21-year-old Devon Hernandez Ruffin shot and killed outside of the Bug Jar on Monroe Avenue. His family and police still looking for information. Despite the fact that scores of people were out and about on the street near the crime, the investigation remains stalled. Why? Lack of witness cooperation. In fact, Senator Schumer says there are people out there actually encouraging witnesses not to come forward using T-shirts. Look what they say. Stop snitching. Good rules apply. Don't watch me. Can you imagine that? The senator says the Rochester City School District has had to ban the shirts because they were in the schools. So he's coming down hard on those who choose to intimidate witnesses with new federal legislation called the Witness Protection Act. It makes the despicable behavior of intimidating a witness to a crime a federal crime itself. This is a, a great tool for us to be able to present to people, let them know that um, we won't let them be intimidated or harassed. Meaning those with information may be less afraid to come forward, and the families of the victims will find the closure they're looking for. We're talking about the people who are affected by these crimes, pleading for people. Someone must know. So here's the details about that Witness Protection Act. The legislation seeks to make it a crime to kill, attempt to kill, threaten or intimidate someone to prevent them from going to police. It would also cover retaliation against a witness for coming forward. The bill sets a maximum of 20 years in jail for witness intimidation, up from no more than seven years right now, and up to 30 years in jail for attempting to kill or use physical force against a witness. Now what this legislation doesn't address is any actual physical protection for witnesses who do come forward. So it's more or less an indirect protection for witnesses. I spoke with the family of Devon Hernandez Ruffin today. They said they didn't want to go on camera but they're happy something's being done. But when I asked them if they think it will really make a difference, they said maybe not, but it's a start. Janet. And what is the status of this legislation right now? Senator Schumer says it is in Judiciary Committee right now and will come up for a vote in September. He hopes it will be passed by the end of this year. He says this is a bill that has bipartisan support. Let's hope that people start stepping up and speaking out. Absolutely. Van Timmer in our newsroom tonight. Thank you.